the winner today will not progress to represent an area level. Achieve Jet today is a joyous person, is a mentor of our club, is a king of humor. One thing I would like to share about this person. Last Sunday we had numerous to numerous workshops. We had stand-up comedian Raj Shekhar taking that session. And in the beginning of the session, he said he got inspired to become a stand-up comedian or to become a humorous speaker from this person. He also said that whatever he is today, it's because of his mentor. Toastmaster Deacon. We have six contestants competing today. Sorry, seven contestants competing today. The contestants have drawn the speaking order, and for your records, the order is as follows. There are no cheap jets, so I will just read out the names. Contestant number one, Sheetal. Contestant number two, Anand. Contestant number three, Vedashi. Contestant number four, Vijayalakshmi. Contestant number five, Nanini. Contestant number six, Srinivas Raju. Contestant number seven, TK Namesh. Yeah, contestant number eight. Today we will listen to a test speech of 5 to 7 minutes duration. Contestants may take notes during the test speech using their own writing materials. At the conclusion of this speech, contestants will be taken to a separate room where they will exactly have 5 minutes to prepare their evaluation. Contestants will hand, hand over their notes to the sergeant arms for safekeeping at the end of this time. All except the first speaker will remain in the room until called upon. Contestants will be handed back their notes immediately before their evaluation speech. The evaluation speech timing is 2 to 3 minutes. Contestants will be disqualified if they speak less than 1 minute 30 seconds or more than 3 minutes 30 seconds. Timer, please help me with the timing card. Time begins with the first definite verbal or non-verbal communication with the audience. Green light, green card at 2 minutes. Please help me with the time card. Green card at 2 minutes. Orange card at 2 minutes 30 seconds. Red card at 3 minutes and remains on until speech is concluded. There will be no signal given for going over time. After the contestant has finished, there will be a minute of silence between speakers. We can reduce that to 30 seconds. I want silent attempts and uh, one more volunteer to escort all the contestants to the terrace and when I call call upon their name, please escort them to the palace. The Toastmasters, our test speaker today is Toastmaster Apu. His speech title is Ways to make long distance walk. Work. 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 His speech title is Ways to make long distance work. I repeat, Ways to make long distance work. Welcome Apu to the background of applause.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have all seen this man. Frustrated, losing hope, defeated, procrastinating. But why? Why does this happen? Some people would say that's because we weren't determined enough in the things we do. I must disagree. I believe that it's because we forget how they feel. We forget because of our environment and other factors. Today, I would like to share with you three points that helped me when I felt like that man. Number one, if you see me on the streets doing this, I haven't lost my mind yet. Don't worry. It's called air guitar. It's where you pretend you have a guitar in your hand, strumming away to the song, playing in your head. I don't always do this because I want it. It's only when someone points it out to me that I realize that I am. While this might seem mundane, pointless, and the use of action in every way, it has helped me in one very, very important way. It's helped me stay in touch with my guitar at those times when I could not play the guitar for maybe a day or weeks or months together. Always stay in touch with the source. Keep reminding yourself of your goal, of why you are doing what you are doing and what inspired you. Number two, when I first decided to play the guitar, I asked my dad, Dad, I want an electric guitar. He said, no, you will learn with the acoustic guitar. I didn't understand the reason why he said that back. To me, he was just being a dad. No offense to all the fathers. But, among the many, many lessons that that one step taught me, is one very crucial lesson. How to enjoy something to the fullest before you move ahead. For example, in guitar, you have many techniques. For example, you have your sweet picking. You have your bending. You have your sliding. You have your hammer-ons. Pull-offs. You have your hammer-on and pull-offs. And so on. When you step into the world of an electric guitar, that number increases further. By taking the time to master them one by one, step by step, I leave room for myself to be excited all over again like the first day when I picked up the guitar. The initial joy of holding an instrument that you feel that you will make life with. Don't burn up all your enthusiasm in one go. You can't eat for an entire lifetime. You eat little by little, and when you're hungry, you eat again. Always take baby steps and relish each step as much as you can before you take the next. So, number one, always stay in touch with the source. Number two, keep reminding yourself what you're doing, why you're doing it, and always take baby steps. Finally, point number three. When people see me playing the guitar, it's a very common thought to them to come that, who he can play a song. So they come up to me, play a song, play a song. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you now that I am not a fan of playing songs. What excites me more are warm up exercises for your fingers, especially those that have a classical touch to it. To me, it's the soul of playing music. To me, it's what excites me. It's what builds a fire up inside. As you can all imagine, when I actually tell people that I cannot play songs, a shower of criticism falls upon me, which unfortunately are not the blessings of God. You can't play a song? What's the point of playing a musical instrument then? Ladies and gentlemen, Ignore the people around you who keep criticizing you and pulling you down because most of them have no idea what they are talking about. 
remember that you're doing what you're doing because you want to do it, not because someone else told you to. So, to summarize, point number one. Anyone from the audience? Stay in touch with your source. Precisely. Always stay in touch with the source. Keep reminding yourself of what you're doing, why you're doing it, and what inspired you. Number two. Precisely. Do not burn up all your enthusiasm in one go. Take baby steps. Enjoy them. Relish them. And then take your next. Number three. Anyone from your Come on. Ignore the people around you that keep pulling you down, criticizing you, because most of them have no idea what they're talking about. Remember that you're doing what you're doing because you want to do it, not because someone else told you. Ladies and gentlemen, Toastmasters and guests, don't develop a long distance relationship with the things you love. We all know how they rarely ever work out. Keep in touch. I know, keeping in touch can be frustrating at times. It can annoy you to no end. It will drive you mad sometimes. But, words will not be able to describe how you will feel after the two of you get past it. Words will not be able to describe how successful you feel. With these points that I have mentioned, I have been able to get past this hurdle and I have been able to stay in touch with my guitar for as much and as long as I could. I ask that all of you do the same with the things that you have kept aside. Back to the incident.